Starting off our tour, we have one of our first bunkered TCs. Here's the upkeep, which is actually the same on all three sides. A good addition to this TC is that it's extremely easy to disconnect and reconnect, as I show here. Moving into our gatehouse, we are met with some amazing Pacheco Peaks covering our inner and outer seawall. An added bonus to this gatehouse is that it has amazing angles outside of the compound too. As we move into the compound, we are met with Garfunkel. He is stationed above the gatehouse to defend our base from any potential raiders. Entering the base, we are met with an array of one-way ankle biters that cover most of your loot ring along with your core. An added benefit of these bedrooms is that they can be set up as early as you want so you can get some great early game defendability. Moving up our base, we enter the second floor to this bedroom module that allows for us to have more general angles outside of the base along with some extra mobility and bed space. This is the entrance to our ring core. As you may have noticed, there are a few bunkers scattered around this floor with four boxes space in each one. This core also offers peaks outside of the base and a turret to help protect all of your loot. Our second floor of our core holds 10 large boxes and 10 small boxes worth of space. And moving into the first floor, we have our starter, which contains a suey bunker and windowed loot rooms that hold four boxes each, but can be swapped out for garage door loot rooms. This layer of our base will act as our main retake floor, giving us peeks into our lower ring, compound, and quick access to ladder hatch mobility that will take you to other important parts of your base. Here is our shooting floor. As you can tell, we are instantly met with one of three bunkers that are housed on this layer, and they can offer some fine battery spots or some extra sneaky loot space. Moving on, this is an easy to set up shooting floor that requires no build outs and as you can tell, it offers a large variety of angles. Here are some of your shooting floor bedrooms. They are also accompanied by peaks that are covered from raid bases. Not only that, but they have peak backs and brutalist peaks for close and far angles. The lower portion of our towers can have a small bedroom that also has a peak that covers your external TCs and distances that are much further away. As you may have spotted before, this is our main roof section that houses a mini war room with lots of boxes for whatever you may need. I also want to mention that this area can be used for whatever you can think of, so make sure to explore some variations. The outer towers also house more beds and box space just in case you need any more of that. Moving into the final section of our base, we have some extra bed spots along with some turrets that have some amazing angles to cover your entire roof. Starting off our tutorial, here is a simple one by one with a slight alteration to the front door with just two double doors. And now we'll extend on to the starter. This is a very simple early game setup that you can do just in case you need to be defending early. All right, let's now finish up the rest of the starter. I will mention here that these loot rooms can be either windowed or garage doored as I show here. Though I do not show it, you are able to finish off the suey bunker, but make sure that you put a bag in there. Alright, we'll now move up the second floor and finish up our starter. Thank <laughs> you. 
When building up the third floor, please keep in mind that the inner peak floors might not place because of the higher walls as I show here. As we finish up our third floor, we are going to just really quickly do this last part for the battery spot and move down to do our external TCs. Just note that most of this base is on three sided except for the middle core. This will be our early game bedroom that will offer great early game defense. I do want to note that the windows I just placed are not required and for early game I would definitely say do not put these until you are ready to build up the rest of your base. Alright now we will do our external TCs. As we build out we will be going 7 squares and ending it with 1 triangle and then returning with triangle half moons. As you can see, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? And this will act as our seawall along with our gatehouse. As we're doing this external, there's a great YouTube tutorial by Basso to do a lineup for these freehands, but I personally do not do the lineup, I will just do a quick freehand. I do want you to know, you don't need to be a professional at this, and you don't have to do free-handed bunkered externals, but I do recommend it. Make sure one side's connected and one side is loose, and then you just do the transformation to a triangle. And then next, we'll actually be checking if this external is correct by doing the disconnect method. If it is blue, then you are able to disconnect it. If it is not blue, that means that your freehand is likely way too high, so you'll have to redo it. Very quickly, we are going to build up our gatehouse along with our seawall just so you're a little bit more defendable early game. Also, you can do this turret whenever you want, as early as you want. The first turret you get, you should definitely put on the three gatehouses. Here's a great battery spot for that early game turret. And this is actually going to be our first bunker. So as soon as you put the roof on this thing, you are able to fully use it. This part will be very finicky. Just make sure to place all of your floor bits before you place any roofs or else floor bits may be a little hard to place. Specifically here is where it would be hard to place. So I would advise not putting that roof until you have this part set up. And 
as you can see once again it will be finicky if you place those roofs first but if you do have building skins you can swap them back Alright, we're now moving up to the inner peak section, just so I can show you once again that the inner peaks will not be placeable with these higher walls, so you may have to delete some things. And right here, make sure that the roof is actually a triangle frame to continue the ladder hatch mobility or else it will cause problems. Once again, here's another bunker. Just make sure when you're placing the roofs that they are connected to the correct spots. As I mentioned before, make sure that you're placing the floors here in the correct spots and that this triangle floor will connect to the right piece rather than the left or else the bunker will not open. Right here, I'm placing triangle roofs through the floor, as I show here. Now we're going to do the compound. It is a pretty simple compound setup. Just one large furnace and three high walls. So it's pretty difficult to mess up, but just make sure you're paying attention to how I'm doing my placements. And 
here. We're going to place this at a pretty hard diagonal. And this one is not going to be very diagonal. It's going to be almost straight. Really quickly, I'm just going to show you how to do the barricade placements since they're pretty simple. Alright, back to the roof. We're really quickly just going to make some of the roof peaks. These parts will require being metal as the roof piece won't actually phase through without it being metal and these wood pieces are just for the head glitch once we put the actual roofs down. It might be a little finicky as you see here, just a few jumps and you'll be able to do it. And then here once again make sure you're connecting the roof piece to the left side aka the closest thing to you not the other one or else it will not have the stability and then to actually open the peak we will make this metal moving on we'll do the same thing on the other side which no problems and then now we're going to make the catwalk for the mini war room lights they aren't required but if you want some lights then here you are now once again i'm going to place the triangle roofs through the floor Here's our final windmill setup, and after that, you are fully complete. Thank you for watching.